What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Nima. So we're back on the drawing board. Welcome. Welcome back. Uh, if you saw the last video, if you haven't, I'll put the link somewhere in the video. That way you can check it out. Um, but yeah, this piece was so much fun to color. I enjoyed all the colors that was going to this piece. The design of Rono Zoro, I really do love um, the design. So I really, really enjoyed drawing this piece and coloring this piece. Um, so I'm so thankful that one of my coworkers and my friend at work asked me to draw Rono Zoro and I was like, yes, I am down. And here it is. Hopefully he'll be proud of me and hopefully I made him proud in drawing this piece. Um, but yeah. If you like Rono Zoro and if you're enjoying if you're gonna if you do enjoy these videos that I've been posting lately of these uh, the for the basically the Rono Zoro series please leave a like and also if you haven't already please subscribe it does help out the channel and share for now everybody enjoy the video So in this part of the coloring piece, uh, coloring this piece, uh, the nine sword style or demon aura, what you want to call it. Uh, but yes, I mean, it's called demon aura. What am I talking about? But anyways, this part of the piece was so much fun to color. Um, it's actually the one part that took the longest because there's so much details. It roughly took me about three hours to do, but I had so much fun. Um, there were things that I was kind of skeptical about doing because i wasn't sure if it was going to come out correctly um there are some effects and you'll see in this video there are effects in the sword because of the the basically the flames um i wasn't sure if it was gonna come out right um uh, just understand i am learning as i go with doing all these pieces i just started i mean technically just this last year i just started coloring with markers i never colored markers so i fairly new to this blending kind of stuff and learning as you go um so if you have any suggestions um yeah, please please comment down below I, i'll consider every suggestion any ideas i'll take it because you know, like i said i'm learning but um yeah i think it came up pretty well so yeah So on my TikTok, and um, some people ask me what kind of markers I use, just in case all of you are wondering what markers I do use, I do use um, Master's Touch. Um, it's not Copic. I know Copic is probably the number one, but I don't want to spend so much money, and I think Master's Touch is probably close to it. Um, I, you know, I watch recommendations, and Master's Touch is one of them. I do purchase them in Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if you can buy it anywhere else, uh, but I, that's the only place I've seen them. Uh, so yeah, it's just, just letting you know in case you guys are wondering what markers I use.
As I do the finishing touches on this piece, I just want to take the time to say thank you to everybody that watched my videos and leave likes and also commented. For the person that commented on my video, the two people that commented on my video, the first person, I will be drawing your piece after I do the Luffy. I will be doing a Luffy piece after this one, and then I'll be doing your piece right after. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, please leave a like on this video, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification. That way you can see the next video dropping. For now, everybody, thank you so much and goodbye.